Hola! Congratulations on making it all the way to this lesson. We're on 0 0.6, creo. Um, hoy vamos a hablar de varias cosas. Vamos a hablar del verbo... Vamos a hablar del verbo querer. También vamos a hablar del verbo tener. Vamos a hablar de los adjetivos posesivos, possessive adjectives. Y we're also going to hit el verbo pedir. Now, real quick. Oh, y vamos a hablar de la familia. Real quick, querer, what does it mean? To want, tener, to have, pedir, to ask for. Not just to ask, but to ask for. The for is already built in there. Okay, vamos a hablar de esos tres verbos hoy. Let's start off with querer. Okay. Querer, you'll notice is a, spe or you'll recall, is a special type of verb. Oh yeah, by the way, reminder once again, these are review videos, these aren't full instruction. Um, they're designed for my Spanish 2 students as a review of Spanish 1. Now, if I put this after the verb querer, or sometimes you'll see this after the verb querer, do you remember what that means? It means it's a stem changer. The stem of our verb is going to change when we conjugate it. So that E, that E is going to change to an IE. Let's go, over the, let's go over the conjugations of this real quick. So if you want to say, I want, yo, changes to IE, quiero. You want, tú quieres. He wants. She wants, or usted, formal, wants. Hope you're kind of trying to think of this before I write it. Quiere. We want. Now, right now, you might be saying, oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's nosotros. Nosotros doesn't stem change. Neither does the queréis of vosotros. But, again, we skip vosotros. And... They want, or they want, or you guys want. Get it? And you'll recall, some of you might be remembering from last lesson that we sometimes call these, or teachers sometimes call these, boot verbs because it's only the ones in the shape of a boot that change their conjugations or that have that the stem change that we were talking about. Okay? Um, not a big fan of the boot, so I'll just give it the boot. Maybe. Uh, computer's a little lagging today. I'll just get rid of it all together. Okay. Um, let's try a few of these. Um, let's see, last, last chapter we were talking about foods, so we'll do some food questions in here. ¿Qué quieres comer? Yo quiero comer un burrito. ¿Qué quieres comer? Mm, yo quiero una empanada. ¿Ustedes quieren ir al cine? ¿Ustedes quieren ir al cine? No. Nosotros no queremos ir al cine. Nosotros queremos ir al museo. ¿Quieres... ¿Quieres estudiar esta noche? Hoy es viernes. ¿Tú quieres estudiar esta noche? No. No quiero estudiar esta noche. Es viernes. Yo quiero salir con mis amigos. Mi mamá... Quiere que yo estudie. Um, subjunctive, we'll worry about that another day. Spanish 3. Um, mi mamá quiere que yo estudie, pero no. Yo quiero salir con mis amigos. Okay, that's a verb querer. Um, some people remember it because of that chihuahua. Yo quiero Taco Bell. You might, might remember that one. Quiero there. Okay. That's querer. Quick review. Next verb we want to do a quick review of is tener, tener. Now I could go in depth with tener of, of English words that have tain in it. Obtain, contain, retain, abstain. Now that tain comes from the same origin as the Spanish verb tener, to have. But I'll, I won't do that in this lesson. I'll try to be brief. Tener to have. Now, we, ha we do have a couple have verbs in Spanish. We do have another verb, haber, 
which means to have, but it's more of a helping verb, like I have read the book, I have studied much. This have is to have. Okay, and it is also a stem changer. It will be going E, e to IE, but it's also irregular. It's also irregular in the yo form. So we have tengo, I have. Yo tengo siete dólares. Yo tengo un teléfono. Yo tengo la clase de ciencias sociales en la tercera hora. Yo tengo, uy, yo tengo dolor de cabeza. Yo tengo una coca light. It's funny because in a lot of, um, well, in Spanish speaking countries, instead of calling it diet coke, they call it coca light. They use the English word light. So tengo, I have. You have, here's where we start seeing the stem change. Tú tienes. He has, she has, or you formal has. Tiene. Mi mamá tiene un carro nuevo. Un coche nuevo, un auto nuevo. Mi mamá tiene un carro nuevo. ¿Tú tienes carro o no tienes carro? Yo tengo una motocicleta. Tengo, tienes, tiene. That sounded more like a cat than a motorcycle. I apologize. Um, <laughs> we have, again, no stem change in nosotros. Tenemos. Tenemos como cinco minutos más. Tenemos, we have. Tenéis. Tienen. Tienen, you guys have. Y'all have or they have. Ellos tienen mi libro. Yo quiero mi libro, pero ellos lo tienen. Ellos tienen mi libro. Tengo, tienes, tiene, tenemos, tiene. And we also mentioned last time that with tener, we can add que to say have to. Yo tengo que hablar. Um, tener is also used with a lot of other, a lot of other words like sueño. Oh, yo tengo sueño. In English, maybe, maybe these watching these videos will help you fall asleep if you maybe you have sueño. Quizás tienen sueño ahora. Um, Tener sueño, in English you'd say I am tired, in Spanish you say you have sleepiness, you have slumber, you have tiredness. Um, hunger, in English we would say I have, I am hungry, in Spanish tengo hambre, tengo hambre. Um, tengo sed, quiero, tengo sed, tengo que tomar algo. Um, tener, okay, so that's tener in a nutshell. Whew. Whew. Another quick lesson. Gracias por escuchar. I hope that all this is back up fresh in your mind again. And uh, I do have another video about tener that goes really more in depth. Maybe I'll put a link to it um, on my website or something so you can find it. Buena suerte. Gracias por escuchar. Y espero que, que hables bien el español. Gracias. Chao.